Good evening. Thanks for being here. Vancouver police will conduct a criminal investigation into a Victoria police officer who was shown on video apparently kicking a suspect who appears to be under control. A News was the first to show you that YouTube video at this time last night. It was shot outside a downtown Victoria nightclub early Sunday morning. In a moment, we will get the reaction from Victoria's chief of police, as well as hear from the man who says he was kicked on that video and the man who shot the images. But first, see it for yourself in its entirety. We have not edited the tape other than to remove profanity. Video I am, don't worry. There's a good chance that that is that was Johnny, Johnny, don't. Why is he Shut kicking up. him? Don't worry, Johnny, I got evidence. At a news conference this afternoon, Victoria Police Chief Jamie Graham announced that he has called on Vancouver Police to conduct an external criminal investigation. That will run parallel to the Victoria Police Department's internal investigation in the case. The officer involved has been moved to administrative duty. The chief says he is a nine-year veteran who is respected on the force. Chief Graham says the investigation will include a forensic examination of the video, expert opinions on use of force, and interviews with the officers and with witnesses who were there. Graham defends his department in the way it patrols what he calls the drunkenness and debauchery at Victoria nightclubs. But he agrees it comes as a shock. No doubt the images are distressing, and the reaction on an emotional level is one of shock. The officers in this case exited a nightclub and were immediately confronted by a drunken brawl involving eight people. The officers saw a helpless, unconscious man lying on the sidewalk being kicked in the head. The officers arrested everyone involved to prevent what has become an all too common occurrence, a young life drastically altered by a drunken brawl outside a nightclub. The issue which we will have to, which will have to be determined is the level of force used by the officers involved. Was their use of force excessive considering all of the circumstances? If the force used was excessive, the officers involved will be held accountable, and rightly so. And the difficulty with videos is you don't know what happened moments before, you don't know what's happening off camera, you don't know what's people are being shouted at the officers, we just don't know. But there is enough in that video that caused me enough concern that I, well, it, it's important to conduct the investigation. We are policing a unique culture in this downtown core with the, with the volume of licensed premises and the attitude of many people that exit these bars late at night. There is a drinking problem uh, with many young people in this city and uh, we're going to do our best to, to try and correct that kind of behavior. It's, a, it's, a, it's just awful. I encourage you to come down and uh, spend a couple of nights uh, examining what the officers have to deal with on a Friday, Saturday night. It's, uh, it can be quite alarming. Officers are not going to take chances. They're gonna, people have to be restrained and detained until calm decisions can be made. And, and when people are intoxicated, it just adds difficulties. I assure you, I give you my word, we will get to the bottom of what happened on Saturday night, and I will be as open and transparent as the law allows. The man who says he's the one on the video being kicked is now considering legal action. He tells A News what happened leading up to the incident and the brawl outside the bar, and he wonders if race had anything to do with it. A News reporter Andrew Johnson has that part of the story. He came and he kicked me as hard as he could two or three times. Kang says he was approaching the nightclub with his girlfriend when they noticed there was a fight outside. He says a large man then struck his companion. He was like big. He was like triple, the t like, triple my size. I said, what was the problem here? I asked the guy, you know. He tried to pick a fight, tried to hit my girlfriend again, and I stepped in, walked away, walked away from the situation. That's when the couple say Kang was pepper sprayed, kicked, and handcuffed. Kang is outraged. Another sign of police brutality, and no one's going to believe the Indo-Canadian. That's what always happens in situations like this, right? So yeah, this is the officer that came over. The man who captured the footage on his camera believes police stepped over the line. It's important to get these things in the public. I think, you know, 90% of people that take a look at it will, common sense will tell them it probably was excessive force, but 
you know, that's for someone else to determine. You can see the fluid in there, man. As he nurses a sore knee and back, Harpinder Kang has made up his mind on the issue and says he plans to pursue legal action. In Victoria, Andrew Johnson, A News. This incident is the latest in a long list of complaints against Victoria police officers. It was just earlier this month that two Vic PD officers were charged with assault in an arrest in 2008. When he was asked about that today, the police chief said that he does not believe there is a systemic issue within the department, that the complaint process works, and that each case must be dealt with on its individual merits. Joining us now to talk more about this is the Victoria Police Department's media spokesperson, Sergeant Grant Hamilton. Sergeant, thanks for being here. Thanks, Hudson. Uh, one of the questions at the news conference as well was whether this would have ever come to light had it not been captured on video. Talk to us about the impact that, uh, on policing that everybody has a camera on their phone and, and your officers don't know from one minute to the next if everything they're doing is going to show up on YouTube. Well, I think in this day and age, we have to assume that we are constantly on video. Um, that ha is a reality in our, our island work, and rightfully so. Uh, in this case, uh, what you see uh, on the video, as the chief alluded to, um, the emotional reaction uh, is one of a shock. Uh, we are going to review this, um, but the chief also stated, uh, you know, we need to put this into context, uh, and that, we'll, that investigation will determine uh, exactly what happened. The chief also talked about the atmosphere uh, of drunkenness and out-of-control revelers uh, pouring out of the, the nightclubs in downtown Victoria. It, it is a regional problem, but it falls in your department's lap. Well, it is. I mean, in this case, um, you know, looking at the people involved, uh, there's only one person in this whole melee that was actually from Victoria. They're all from uh, outside of the Victoria jurisdiction, but we are a mecca for entertainment. We have 60,000 liquor seats here in a, in a very confined area, and we deal with uh, the issues around alcohol abuse. Uh, I know there was a question asked about systemic abuse. Uh, I need to point uh, the public to the recent audit of our department, which uh, showed that in, it directly looked at use of force issues and found that our department uh, was decreasing in excessive force complaints while other departments were actually increasing. All right, we'll leave it at that. Sergeant Grant Hamilton, thanks, thanks for joining us tonight.